Now, pivot tables can be scary, but if you're not using pivot tables, you're missing out on Excel's most powerful data analysis technique. In this video, you're gonna create your first pivot table along with me, and we're gonna do a piece of analysis for my YouTube channel. There's a download file that comes with this video. Now, I'm interested in countries where views come from. I'm interested in different traffic sources. I'm interested in playlists, suggested videos, or YouTube search. And I'm interested in the number of views and there's specific data analysis I'd like to do. So how do we get started with this? There's some complex questions there. Well, the answer is good old pen and paper. This is how we get started with pivot tables. We have to be clear in our head what we're trying to do. If we're not clear in our head what we're trying to do, it's very difficult to get the pivot table working for us. So I grab a pen, a piece of paper, and firstly, in the top left-hand corner, what question am I trying to answer? You should do this for your situation too. I'd like to know for each country, how many views are there for each traffic source? How do I want the table to appear? Well, it would be great if we could have the countries in the rows, the traffic sources in the columns, and then the table populated with the data. This would answer so many questions, save us so many times. So grab a pen, piece of paper. What are you trying to do in your situation? This is gonna really help. So with that done, we can get uh, into the data. I've got my database here. The first step is to select all the data. You can do that using the mouse. I'm gonna use it on the Windows PC. I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcuts, Control Shift Right, Control Shift Down. We've got all the data selected including including the column headers. That's very important. With all the data selected, we can go to insert and then pivot table, and we get the create pivot table dialog box. Now, because we've already selected our data, the table and range box, that's, that's done. We have to decide, to decide where's the pivot table gonna go? Are we gonna put it on a new worksheet? That's fine for us, certainly for the purposes of this video. Now, this takes us to this scary new view. We've got this control panel on the right. What is that all about? And then we've got the pivot table area here, but we haven't got a pivot table yet, which can be kind of confusing. But this is where you wanna go back to your piece of paper. What do we want to appear in the table? Well, I want the country to appear, and I want the country to be in the rows. Now, Excel has guessed that I would want the country in the rows. Good guess, Excel, so that's a good start. Then we'd like the sources, the traffic sources, to appear in the columns. Now, Excel has put them in the rows. We're gonna fix that in a second. Then in the table, we'd like the views uh, to appear. Already we've got a pivot table, not quite what we want, so I can go back to my piece of paper. Actually, the traffic source, I want those to appear in the columns. So very simply, I'm gonna click and hold on source and drag them up into the columns box, release the mouse there. We can see we've got exactly what we were looking for here with our pivot table. So I can just look at Australia now and I can see, okay, grand total, 765 views, 10 from playlists, 674 from suggested videos, 81 from YouTube, YouTube search. To try to get that information manually, I, I might have to sort, to filter. The worst thing would be to copy paste to a different sheet. We want to avoid that as far as possible in Excel. With pivot tables, we can do it with just a few button clicks. So let's just go through it again. What are the critical things? The conceptual understanding first. Can you visualize the table? Good old pen and paper. This is gonna be the first step with your data analysis task, with your application of pivot table. What specific question are you trying to answer? How do you want the table to appear? That means the concepts are clear in our head. Then we've gotta to remember to select all the data, including the column headers, and go to insert pivot table. That gives us this setup. We can then, going back to our paper if we need to, we can then choose uh, the columns that we want and change the appearance here. Super powerful technique. So that's it for this video. I hope you've been able to make your first pivot table. As I said at the beginning, Excel's most powerful data analysis facility. It's gonna change the way you're doing data analysis. I'm Chris from Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. Thank you for watching this video. If it helped you, give it a thumbs up. I would love to see you in another video on the channel. The channel is about 
spreadsheets, Excel formulae, but also about Excel's coding language, which is Visual Basic for Applications, VBA. We've got lots of videos about how to use coding in Excel. If you're not using any coding in Excel yet, it's going to transform the way you're using Excel. I hope to see you in another video on the channel.